Awesome. So let us test to see whether or not that is actually broadcasting out in full glorious 1080. Um, ask MP. It says I'm live. While that's doing that, um, voiceovers for FITC Toronto, FITC TO 2013. Awesomeness. What do you want to do here? What? Interesting. Hey, awesomeness. Hey, awesomeness. That's not too bad of a delay either. Uh, do 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 Pop. And escape. And I'm going to say pop out the chat just in case anybody actually does chip into this. Pop out. Mm -hmm. There we go. Close that. Awesome. Okay, so. <clears throat> Back at this, uh, we are on to Toronto 2 of Toronto 1, 2, and 3. Um, haven't started yet. This is uh, going to be Sunday, 10 a.m. Uh, with Paul Tranny. So a couple little paragraphs to begin with. Likely don't need just yet. Uh, we'll likely just end up doing a bunch of those little blocks again. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's get started. Oh. Actually, that is not the right uh, one. There we go. Perfect. Recording. Blah 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 blah. Recording. Blah 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 blah. Excellent. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been with Adobe. Hmm. Ah, starts off great. Uh, what is this one? Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for the over a decade. Here today, he's here today to talk about some of the latest killer tools available via, via Creative Cloud, and show you how to use them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Tranny. Is there? I bet. Yeah, that's better. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been with the Adobe. Mm -hmm. Paul Tranny. Oh, I did. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe. An Adobe. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. Here, oh, so close, so close. Let's, uh, I can't believe I'm actually going to do this, but um, anybody interested in um, Gonna live tweet this out for a second. Ask MP. Uh -huh. That's gonna be dangerous. And fast booking. Uh, I'm fine for the fast booking. Okay, so that's consent. 
And where's my chat? No. Oh, there it is. Cool. I don't think we did it. No, we didn't. Okay. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe... Hmm. Okay. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been with the Adobe Certified... Inst has been a... Ah! And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about some of the latest killer tools available via Creative Cloud and show us how to use them. So close. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for the last oh, for over a decade. Oh, that is so annoying. Is there any way for me to actually tell how many people are on the stream? Probably not, but whatever. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about how... So close. It's there. Why? There. 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 And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe... And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about how some of the latest killer tools, how, there is no how, about, he's here today to talk about some of the latest killer tools. Ah, ah why is this one so hard? It's like the first one of the day. Oh man. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about how some of the latest killer tools available for... Again, where is the how coming from? What the fudge? Uh, visitors one. Yeah, it's probably me. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been with the Adobe Certified... Mm -hmm. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about some of the latest killer tools available via Creative Cloud and show you how to use them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Tranny. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, finally! Okay, so let's take a look at this. Clean up the very first part. Uh, do a nice little selection and... Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter, uh, and then Tranny. Yeah. Clip at the end. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for over a decade. He's here today to talk about some of the latest killer tools available via Creative Cloud and show you how to use them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Tranny. And now on to our first session. Paul Tranny is an Oh, finally. Okay. So, Shav. And today, this is actually going to be... Uh, save these into the right folder. Recordings. Day 2, Sunday. Paul Tranny, save. Okay, that. Awesome sauce. Next one. Next one is going to be digital story uh, digital storytelling with Hush, Jam Three, Rehab Studio, and Sapient Nitro. That's an awesome name, Sapient Nitro. That is seriously epic. Uh, okay, so O two dash O one V one. This one's going to be crap ton of people. Everyone, blah 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 blah. blah. This is going to be a fun one. Um, Digital storytelling. Enter, enter. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Yes, I know I'm not recording. Yes, uh, welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion discussion presented by Soda, a voice for digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from a different industry from different industry perspectives. We have David Schwartz, an award-winning creative director from Hush. Adrian Bellina, Bellina, 
Adrian Bellina, Principal and Creative Director of Jam3, and Tim Rogers, a self-taught digital creative partner in Rehab Studio. Moderating the discussion is Elliot Smith, an avid cyclist and Creative Director of Sapient Nitro. Everyone, please give a warm FITC welcome to our panelists on stage. Awesome. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspectives, we have David Schwartz, an industry winning to create. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspectives, we have David Schwartz, an award winning creative director from Hush. Adrian Bellina, Principal and Creative Director of Jam3, and Tim Rogers, a self-taught digital creative and partner in Rehab Studio. Moderating this discussion is Elliot Smith, an avid cyclist and Creative Director at Sapient Nitro. Everyone, please give a warm FITC welcome to our panelists on stage. Don't like the ending of that one. Really, really don't like the ending of that one. Don't know why. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for the digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspectives, we have David Schwartz, an award-winning creative director from Hush, Adrian Bellina, principal and creative director of Jam3, and Tim Rogers, a self-taught digital creative and partner in Rehab Studio. Moderating this discussion is Elliot Smith, an avid cyclist and creative director at Sapient Nitro. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to uh, warm FITC welcome. Why I should really stop? Uh, welcome back, everyone. Nope. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for the digital marketing professionals worldwide. Oh, yeah. That was a weird one. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda a voice for the digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspectives, we have David Schwartz, an award-winning creative director from Hush, Adrian Bellina, principal and creative director of Jam3, and Tim Rogers, a self-taught digital creative and partner in Rehab Studio. Moderating the discussion, no, too much of a delay. Um, welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for the digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspective. Different industry perspective. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel discussion presented by Soda, a voice for the digital marketing professionals worldwide. Up on stage to discuss digital storytelling from different industry perspectives, we have David Schwartz, an award-winning creative director from Hush, Adrian Bellina, Principal and Creative Director from Jam3, and Tim Rogers, a self-taught digital creative and partner in Rehab Studio. Moderating this discussion is Elliot Smith, an avid cyclist and Creative Director at Sapient Nitro. Everyone, please give a warm FITC welcome to our panelists on stage. Awesome! Finally! Finally picked one up on that one. Ugh. Giggity fracking goo. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, and enter. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is a panel. Enter. I don't think I need on stage. Page. Perfect. <sighs> okay, so save this one. Yes, save. Save. Ah, <sighs> two down for the day. Um, Sunday at 3 p.m. Building native apps, a digital canvas for the coders and designers. With Walter La. Walter La, La is in like, duh. Really? Okay. L Walter La. Walter La. Control shift N. 03 01 V1. Walter La. Awesome. I see a couple people in the chat. If you are there, shoot me off a uh, quick little message if you are registered. Uh, I don't see anybody in the chat, but it's all good. Uh, if you are enjoying this or whatever, 
have fun uh tweet about it it's uh one of those i'm just trying things out to to see if i can broadcast uh at 1080 first of all uh, so if you do see this uh, you've got a decent internet connection um but uh just wanted to do some more testing with the stream so figured this would be a great opportunity to do so um cool on to the next one without reading it obviously oh. without reading it just going diving right in our next presenter walter la is a CEO of Corona Labs and create. See, that doesn't work. Got to do a funny one first, otherwise, you're just not getting into it. Our next presenter, Walter La, is CEO of Corona Lab and creator of Corona SDK. He's pro his prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes lead architect for Adobe Flash Lite and a working and working on several industry standard products such as Adobe Illustrator, Apple's Final Cut Pro and Apple's Final Cut Pro. Here today to talk about how to use how to use Corona SDK to build apps 10 times faster. Please welcome Walter Le. Walter Le. That is a fun name to say. Walter Le. Okay. Our next presenter, Walter Le, is a CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Cor <sighs> Our next presenter, Walter Le, is a CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. His prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes lead architect for Adobe Flash Lite and working on several industry standard products such as in It's going good. It's going good. Why? Ah! Our next presenter, Walter Le, is a CEO and our next presenter, Walter Le, is CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. Our next presenter, Walter Le, is CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. His prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes nope. Our Our next presenter, Walter Le, is CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. His prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes lead architect for Adobe Flash Lite and working on several industry products. I got ahead of myself. I was actually reading past where I was talking, and that's you can't do that. Because brain doesn't function this without... Um, ooh, I do have more left. Mm. Oh, dregs of a coffee. Oh. Our next presenter, Walter Le, is a CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. His prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes lead architect for Adobe Flash Lite and working on several industry standard products such as Adobe Illustrator and Apple's Final Cut Pro. Here today to talk about how to use Corona SDK to build apps 10 times faster, please welcome Walter Le. After and this just coffee's good. That was weird. That just worked the first time. Uh, okay, deleted, and let's pull from the back on this one here. Our next presenter, Walter Le, is a CEO of Corona Labs and creator of Corona SDK. His prolific career prior to Corona Labs includes lead architect for Adobe Flash Lite and working on several industry standard products such as Adobe Illustrator and Apple's Final Cut Pro. Here today to talk about how to Perfect. Save. Yash. Control Shift N. Uh, next one. Oh great, this is gonna be a fun name. Um, and I'm gonna butcher it like this no tomorrow. Dato Manabe. Manabe? M A N A B E, but I've got the the how to pronounce it. Ma ne B. Interesting. Okay, well let's take a look. So this is going to be O four dash V one uh zero one V one. Uh Dato Daito Oh my god, this is gonna kill me. Uh B First of all, problems. How do you pronounce a name? <laughs> so, 
day one. So this is the last session of day one FITC Toronto. Welcome to the last session. Okay, so I do need to record that one, I think. No, no, I don't think I do. Presented by, oh, actually, yes, I do. At Bloke and fourth for the official FITC. Wow, how do I not have that? Okay, so I'm going to not have this one first. I'm going to do 04-00v1. And this is going to be last session day one. Uh, okay, so this is... Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far and don't... and uh, So far, we've... Hope you do, yeah, that shouldn't be... Hmm. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far and don't forget to join the... Oh, and don't forget to join the online consortium. Welcome to the last day... Hmm. Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far, and don't forget to join the online conversation by following FITC on how... Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the last session. Mm. Welcome to the last session! Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far, and don't forget to join the online discussion follow by following. Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC. That again. Welcome to the last session of day one at FITC. It should be at FITC Toronto 2013. Welcome to the last session of day one at FITC Toronto 2013. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far. And don't forget to follow the online discussion by following. Yeah, that's why it doesn't have the following because the following is there. Or the at is there. The at, the following. Ah! Damn you, Twitter! Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We hope you've enjoyed your day so far, and don't forget to join the online discussion by following FITC on Twitter or by using the hashtag FITCTO. Tonight. 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 Ah! Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We have hope you've enjoyed your day so far, and don't forget to join the online discussion by following FITC on Twitter or by using the hashtag FITCTO. Tonight at 9pm, please join us at Bloke and Forth for the official FITC Toronto opening party, presented by 3 Degrees. Okay, so a bunch to cut out at the beginning, uh, and then we definitely have a bunch to do that. How did that sound? Welcome to the last session of day one of FITC Toronto 2013. We have hope you've enjoyed your day so far, and don't forget to join the online discussion by following FITC on... Good enough. Ah, okay. That should be a good one. Now back to uh, Dito Manab Manabi. Manabi. Uh, okay. Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist program... You don't put a dash slash um, and programmer. Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist and programmer. And, of course, Dropbox just happens to put a notification right in front of me. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the retweet. Uh, and you know what? On that note, perhaps I should actually mute this so that it doesn't do a bunch of... Uh, Okay, delete. Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist and programmer with academic background in mathematics. See, again, the wording of that just doesn't make sense. With academic background in mathematics and dynamic sensory programming. Uh, I guess it does when you pair it up with the next sentence. Dato Manabi. Manabi. Dato? D-A-I-T-O. Hmm. Dato Manabi. It's got to be Dato. Daito Manabi. Yeah. Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist and programmer. With academic background in mathematics and dynamic sensory programming, Daito Manabi is, is able to work across different fields, including art, design, and research. Here to present, here to present his presentation, Beyond Interaction. 
Uh, please give a warm round of applause for Daito Manebi. Okay. Our next presenter is to <sighs> Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist and programmer. With academic backgrounds in mathematics and dynamic sensory programming, Daito Manebi is able to work across different fields of of <laughs> Our next presenter is a Tokyo-based artist and programmer. With academic background in mathematics and dynamic sensory programming, Daito Manebi is able to work across different fields, including art, design, and research. Here to present his presentation, Beyond Interaction, please give a warm round of applause for Daito Manebi. Hopefully that's how you pronounce that name, because that was actually a very difficult one. Uh, bullet it. No, come, come, on. Uh -huh, come on. Bullet it, thank you. And uh, we take a look at doing this. Clean up the audio. Our next presenter. Perfect. Save. Hey, that's actually Shanta. Hey, Shanta. So, Monday morning, Monday, Monday, Monday! A new audio file. Uh, this is going to be 05-01B1. Uh, Rick Mason. Hey, Rick's in here. Awesome. Rick Mason is doing the creative coding landscape. Exploring the creative coding landscape. Uh, good morning. Welcome to day two. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'll just do mix and then I'll do a bunch of them afterwards for the generic ones. Our first presenter has, for the past decade, served as director of technology for FITC and is currently a senior web developer at Relish Interactive. A man of many talents and beards, please welcome just... Oh, so close. So close to doing it first time. Ah! Our first presenter has, for the past decade, ah. our first presenter has, for the past decade, served as director of technology for FITC and is currently a senior web developer at Relish Interactive. A man have many ta a man has, a man has many talents, but this ain't one. Our first presenter has, for the past decade served as Director of Technology for FITC and is currently a Senior Web Developer at Relish Interactive. A man of many talents and beards, please welcome to stage Rick Mason. Okay, that wasn't bad. Only a couple times for that one. That was good. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P. Our first presenter has, for the past decade, served as Director of Technology for FITC and is currently a Senior Web Developer at Relish Interactive. A man of many talents and beards, please welcome to stage Rick Mason. Okay, control S. That was good? That was good. I think that was good. That was good. Better be good. If not, I'm blaming you. Um, 06 01 V1, or is this going to be a new. Okay, this is going to be the. Uh, Monday at 11.15, which is Fluid Interfaces Bridging the Gap Between Physical and the Digital with... Oh, really? Why can't people have normal names? <sighs> Paul Pla? Paul Pla? <laughs> P-O-L-P-L-A. Talk sounds amazing. <laughs> but Paul Pla. Paul Pla. Uh, there's only one way to say that. Paul Pla. P-O-L-P-L-A. It's probably going to have to redo all of these things because I'm horrible. Horrible with names. Hello, everyone. Just before we get started, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I'm already doing that one. <sighs> Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interface of... No, at... Uh, at... Researcher at Fluid Interface uh, of the MIT Media Lab. Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interfaces Group of the MIT Media Lab. 
He specializes in designing alternative output technologies from control conceptual... Really? I was really... Was it just me or was there a large bang? Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at... Ah, <laughs> yes, and the rage just happens to be coincided by the fact that Growl puts the Twitter notifications directly on top of the Word document that I'm using. So thank you, Jeremy Gabriel 7 That was amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move the Growl notifications to somewhere else so that it can continue and I have no problems getting them. Outstanding. <laughs> <sighs> Paul Pla is a researcher at Fluid Interfaces Group at MIT. Me <laughs> <laughs> oh, slowly going insane. And giant freaking owl. Was that okay? It isn't over the speakers, but there was an air uh, probably over the stream, though. Oh, man. Oh, delete. Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interfaces Media Group of the MIT Media Lab. He specializes in designing alternative output technologies, from conceptualization to design and build. We're very excited to have Paul here with us today. Blah, 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 blah. We're, we're very excited to have Paul blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interfaces Group of MIT Media Lab. He specializes in designing alternative output technologies from conceptualization to design and build. We're very excited to have Paul here with us today at his present for his pre with his pre with his present. <sighs> Paul Pla is a graduate. Paul Pla. Paul Pla. God, that sounds like an old British TV series. Paul Pla. Yes. Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interfaces Group of the MIT Media Lab. He specializes in designing alternative output technologies, from conceptualization to design and build. We're very excited to have Paul here with us today with his presentation, Fluid Interfaces Bridging the Gap Between the Physical and the Digital. Please welcome Paul. Yeah? Good? Yeah? Is it? Let's take a... I'm scared to look. Delete the little tiny bit at the beginning. Capture and clean. Paul Pla is a graduate researcher at Fluid Interfaces Group of the MIT Media Lab. He specializes in designing alternative output technologies, from conceptualization to design and build. We're very excited to have Paul here with us today with his presentation, Fluid Interfaces Bridging the Gap Between the Physical and the Digital. Please welcome Paul. Okay, I'm happy with that. <sighs> oh, did I not? Okay, good, I did. Ah, uh, whatever. I think it's, I'm saving to the wrong location, but I can move them afterwards. Um, so now it is Everything You Know is New Again by uh, Vincent McCurley. That isn't a name. Uh, again, man, there's some really good names and then really complex names. Vincent McCurley. Uh, so this is going to be 07-01v1. Uh, everything you know is new again. I think this one deserves a, um, a fun one first. Yeah, it's a nice long one. Okay, let's have some fun with this one. Up next is a panel discussion about how the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. About what? About the ch oh about the challenges in designing awesome interactive platforms, uh, interactive stories across platforms. <laughs> oh. let's try this one again. Up next is a panel discussion about the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage will have James Millward, founder and executive producer of the Emmy Awards interactive agency Secret Location, if Evan, uh, Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media, and the two-time Emmy Award winner Mark McQuillan, founding partner at Jam3, 
Moderating this panel discussion is Vincent McCurley, creative technologist from the National Film Board of Canada's Digital Studio. Please welcome to your panel. Please welcome your panel on stage. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying this, Jeremy Gabriel. Seven. Uh, I am having fun doing this, and it is something that is enjoyable for some and frustrating for others because they can't get the damn thing right. Okay, now to do for real. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of the enemy of an enemy of an enemy up next <sighs> it's an enemy award-winning of an emmy award-winning interactive agency secret location that is like so the problem with a bunch of these people's and companies names like this one is that taken out of context doesn't make sense like especially when you're talking things like the Emmys and winning an award at Emmys, a uh, founder and executive producer of an enemy, eh, <laughs> Emmy award winning interactive agency secret location. To me, that sounds like it's the secret location of the Emmy award winning company, but the company's name is secret location. So, gah, ah, okay. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy Award-winning interactive agency... <laughs> I did it. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, the founding... The founding... There's no founding in this. The f joining doesn't even look like founding. <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Present no. <sighs> Can you breathe, Matthew? <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, Founder and executive producer of an Emmy Award winning interactive agency, Secret Location. Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and a two time Emmy Award winner and two time. Blah, blah, blah. Again, punctuation. <sighs> Alfred, if you're listening to this, punctuation, my good man. It's something to do with proper, like, just putting this together and saying in grammatical senseness. Punctuation. Commas be your friend. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy Award winning, Emmy, Emmy winning, there's no award in that, Emmy winning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the problem with tossing the keyboard is, um, where is the, okay, so... It's like a mechanical keyboard, which weighs a ton and would likely go through my wall. So thoughts cross my mind though. <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges of designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy winning interactive agency, Secret Location. Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media, a two-time Emmy winning, a two-time win. It's not winning again. The, just the fact that they're above one another. It, the Emmy winning Emmy winner, Emmy winning Emmy winner. <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of Emmy Award winning inter... Uh, did I just say winning award again? <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, 
founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive... Uh, there, there. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome... No. Up... No. Awesome. <sighs> okay. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy Award winning Emmy, again, award. Somebody frickin' take the word award out of the English language, please, because it's kind of throwing me off. Up next, up last, up last, oh, that one kind of was painful. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive agency, Secret Location. Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and two-time Emmy winner, Again, punctuation, my good man. As well as, you know what? Screw it. As well as, I'm changing my own copy here. I'm adding three commas. Three commas. Ugh. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive agency, Secret Location. Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and two-time Emmy winner, as well as Mark Quillen, founder, partner, founding partner, founding partner, founding partner. Really, I could buy all the beginning part. It was amazing. The three commas helped out because it was like, <sighs> and then carry on. <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us... What? That doesn't... There's no pause there. <sighs> okay, I gotta see this tweet now. You have been seriously live tweeting this, which is outstanding. Uh, if I'm not following you already, you're getting... Ah, yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh! oh wholeheartedly, yes! Oh! Again, problem with that. I've got a fish tank on here as well, with a puffer fish inside of it. So, flipping desk, probably not the best idea, but completely what I want to do right now. Oh. <laughs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB, and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive agency, Secret Location. Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and two-time Emmy winner, as well as Mark Quillian, founding partner at Jam3. Moderating this, moderating this panel discussion, why, why, why? Moderating this panel discussion is Vint McCurley. Ma Vince McCurley, wait, did I already do this one? I better not have already done, no, they've got another, tell me this is not, don't tell me I've already done this one. Oh, thank God, no, okay, they have another panel at uh, on Sunday at 1.45 as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop recording. Up next is a panel discussion about... Nope. Up next. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founding and... Founding... <sighs> Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive studio, Secret Location. Studio. It's not studio. It's an agency. I, have I said studio at all through this whole time? Up next is a... 
Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges of designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive agency, Secret Location, Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and a two-time Emmy winner, as well as Mark McQuillan, founder, partner, and founding partner, founding partner, founding partner, founding partner. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive stories across platforms. Presented by NFB and joining us on stage, we have James Millward, founder and executive producer of an Emmy-winning interactive agency, Secret Location, Evan Jones, partner at Stitch Media and two-time Emmy winner, as well as Mark McQuillian, founding partner at Jam3. Moderating this panel is Vincent McCurley, creative technologist for the National Film Board of Canada's Digital Studio. Please welcome your panel to the stage. Yes! And just tore out my earphones and nearly blew my eardrums. Awesome. Oh. Bugger it all. Apply the filter. Up next is a panel discussion about the challenges in designing awesome interactive story. Good. We good? We good? You think? Good? Bad? I don't know. Oh, man. A couple emails here. Mark, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, punctuation. Um, okay, so save. My God, please, for the love of all that is holy and merciful. Uh, first of all, I'm going to actually change the folder to Monday because I believe I'm on Monday now. Yes, save. Yes. I'll move the other ones later. <sighs> okay, that was that one. Monday. This is going to be 08, 08 dash. 01v1 and the future of web layouts provided produced and ah, Chris Mills Chris Mills uh, enter enter Chris our next our next is really our next is uh, amazing our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist, open standards of vag... I do like the word, but it's very difficult to say every once in a while. Our next is Chris Mills, a web, a web, tech a web technologist, open standards evangelist, and education aggregator working at Opera, at Opera Software. When he's not traveling around the world speaking about open standards, he's a heavy metal... Really? That's actually kind of cool. Uh, he's a heavy metal drummer, beer lover, and proud father of three. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Chris Mills. Our next is Chris... No, see, I dove into the voice again. Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist, open standards evangelist, and educated a education aggregator working at Opera Software. Yes, <laughs> Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist, a web technologist. Duh. Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist. Really? <sighs> people have no excuse. I'm working from home and people are all like, I'm still at home and I'm going to slam the doors. Get a life. Get a job. Hippie. Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist, open standards evangelist, and educational aggregator working at Opera Software. When he's not traveling around the world speaking about open standards, he's a heavy metal drummer, beer lover, and proud father of three. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Chris Mills. Yes! First time, kind of, in a way, after ranting. But yes! I think, maybe. Let's take a look. Gotta cut, cut the first. Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist. Mm. 
uh, when I did this. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, so delete, shift P, control A, control shift P. Our next is Chris Mills, a web technologist, open standards evangelist, and educational aggregator working at Opera Software. When he's not traveling around the world speaking about open standards, he's a heavy metal drummer, beer lover, and proud father of three. Please give a warm FITC welcome to Chris Mills. Our next is Chris... Good. Shav. 09-V... Uh, 01-V1. Uh, dreaming up with Nando Costal. Put your hands together for Nando Costa. Costa. Nando Costa. Nando... Oh, not... Demando, Nando, Nando, Costa, Nando Costa. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, FITC is extremely excited to. Banging of the stopness. FITC is extremely excited. FITC is. Ex is there seriously banging going on? I can feel it. And of course, as soon as I take the earphones off, it doesn't happen. Of course. Uh, FITC is extremely... FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist based in... Oh, serially. Stop the banging! He's a creator of this year's FITC Toronto title, but is also worth no but it's also worth noting that he's worked on some other semi-well-known brands such as Apple, semi-well-known such as Apple, Budweiser, Cartoon Network, Coca-Cola, Lexus, Microsoft, Nike, Nintendo, and Warner. <sighs> but we're not sure if you've ever heard of any of them. Please put your hands together for Nando Costa. Dreaming up. Dreaming up. Dreaming up. FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist based in Portland. He's the creator of this year's FITC Toronto title, but is also worth no it's also FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist based in Portland. His FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist based in Portland. He is the creator of this year's FITC Toronto title, but it's worth mentioning. You're supposed to tell me when I get things wrong instantly. Otherwise, what's the point of having a stream if nobody's giving you exactly perfect live responses and reactions? You're supposed to say, oh, you missed a word, or there's too much of a space there. You're supposed to be doing that. FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist. Graphic artist. Graphic artist. I'm creating brand new titles. <sighs> Nando Costa, you are a Brazilian graphic artist. FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa, a Brazilian director and graphic artist based in Portland. He's the creator of this year's FITC Toronto title, but it's also worth noting that he's worked on some other semi-well-known brands, such as Apple, Budweiser, Cartoon Network, Coca-Cola, Lexus, Microsoft, Nike, Nintendo, and Warner. But we're not sure if you've heard of any of them. Please put your hands together for Nando Costa. That wasn't bad. Okay. Only seven times that I had to do that one. Ah, shift P, control A, control shift P, enter. FITC is extremely excited to have our next presenter, Nando Costa. Cool. Save. Yes, yes. Okay. Nando Costa. Okay, so next one is going to be animating the interactive experience with Sarah Hunt. Why do I know that name? I know that name. Why do I know that name? Oh, that's why. Hey, she's actually been a presenter for my group. Awesome. Sarah Hunt. I knew that name. I know I knew that name. I've met her. 
to spin out FITC, not to um, HTML Toronto. So whoever you're, if you're watching this, htmltoronto.ca and at HTML5 underscore Toronto. Join those if you're not. It's my group. Uh, okay. And S one zero dash O one V one and Sarah Hunt helps if I spell. Actually, I did spell Sarah right. Our first presenter today is a product manager at Adobe, focusing on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here this morning to tell us a bit about the importance of animating your creations and show us helpful tips on how. So close, so close. Our first presenter, and our first presenter today is a product manager at Adobe, focusing on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here this morning to tell us a bit the importance a bit about. Our first presenter today is the product man is. Hmm. Our first presenter today is a product manager at Adobe, focusing on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here this morning to tell us about the importance of animating your creative and the blah 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 is back. Sarah Hunt. Our first presenter today is a product manager at that 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 that. See, I bet you thought the stream was all messed up on that one. Our first presenter today is a product manager at Adobe, focusing on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here this morning to tell us about the importance of animating your... Our first presenter today is a product manager at Adobe, focusing on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here this morning to tell us about the importance of animating your creations and show us helpful tips on how, please welcome Sarah Hunt. Oh yeah. What is that from? No, that's not it. Anyway, uh, Control S. Oh, that's Tuesday now. I know I didn't bring raincoat. For those of you who get that joke, uh, blah, 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 blah. our next presenter is arguably one of the most one of the best vector artists in the world today. He's the artist behind this year's FITC Toronto cr Creativity. Hmm. Arguably one of the best vector artists in the world today. He's the artist behind this year's FITC Toronto's Creative Creative, and goes by the name Hydro Seventy Four, also known as Joshua M Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hydro Hydro seventy four. Okay, Control Shift N. Oh, actually, I got to one one dash o one v one Hydro seventy four. Our next presenter is arguably one of the best vector artists in the world today. He's the artist behind this year's FITC Toronto's Creative. And he goes by the name Hydro74, also known as Joshua M. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hydro74. Ha ha! Ha ha! See that? That's how it's done. That's how it's done. You know what, that, you know what separates me and the professionals? That. <laughs> Once in the blue moon. Our next presenter is arguably one of the best vector artists in the world today. I uh, gotta change this to uh, up and twas day. Sav. Uh, yeah, also studio helps to separate the difference between the two. <sighs> Media convergence. Welcome back as we enter the final afternoon of FITC Toronto 2013. In addition to the session feedback forms, uh, yeah, I've already recorded that yesterday. Yes, Dropbox, thank you for notifying me that I've done a save on a different computer. Uh, 12-01-V1. This one's going to be Irene Pere... Ah, crap. Pereira? Pereira. P 
-E -R -E -Y -R -A. And I do have an audio file, but I believe I've already done this. It's Pereira. 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 Irene Pereira. 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 I got to take a look at this. Um, Alfred. Script. Blah, blah, blah. Where's the audio? Oops, I forgot to attach these. Loading. Come on. Magic fingers. If I go off, go back on. Sigh. Ah, there we go. Is this, uh, no, that's not it. Figures, it took that long and it wasn't even the right one. And so, huh, where is, is this the one? No, huh. Interesting, where is that? Oh, is this it? Ha ha! No, that's not it. That's for me. Huh. There was two samples. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Two samples of how to pronounce names attached to a file. So let me hear. Oh. I think where's the sound? Ah, here we go. Raponin. Anton Raponin was the one. Raponin. Okay, next one. Pereira. I was right. Awesome. Irene Pereira. No, I'm not going to roll the R, but it's so much fun. Pereira. Pereira. Roll up the rain. Need more coffee. Okay, so this one. Apparently, I actually need to talk when I do voiceovers. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and television, interactive digital media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC. There is a few Pereira. We now bring you a panel of rain. We now bring you lading news. Lading news. I messed that up. Oh come on. Okay, it's time for a FOMO. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and television, interactive design, media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC, they are here to discuss the current trend in media convergence and where it's headed. Carrie Morrison, CEO of Endloop Mobile, and Anna Serrano, Chief Digital Officer of CFC Media Lab, and Ricardo Giraldi, Creative Director of B-Rail in New York. Moderating this discussion is Irene Pereira, the head of UX. Damn it, why? Again. Okay, Alfred, seriously, you can't say UX or UX when you're doing this. The head of user experience and strategy at FI. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your panelists to the stage. Awesome. We now bring you a... <laughs> Damn it, now I'm doing the voice. Oh, one more out of it, <clears throat> just because it's fun. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and television, interactive and digital media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC, they are here to discuss the current trends in media convergence and where it's headed. Kerry Morrison, CEO of Endloop Mobile, Anna Serrano, Chief Digital Officer of CFC Media Lab, and Ricardo Giraldi, Creative Director at Be Real in New York. 
Moderating this discussion is Eileen Pereira, the Head of User Experience and Strategy at FI. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the panelists coming to the stage. There we go. Just had to do that one. Ah, oh, do I want to save that one? We now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts including film and television, interactive and digital media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC, they are here to discuss the current trends in media convergence and where it's headed. <sighs> we now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts including film and television, interactive digital media, as well as publishing. Presented by OMDC, they are here to discuss the current trends in media convergence and where it's headed. Carrie Morrison, CEO of Enloop Mobile, Anna Sereno, Chief Digital Officer of CFC Media Lab, and Ricardo Giraldi, Creative Director at BeReal in New York. Moderating this discussion is Irene Pereira, the Head of User Experience and Strategy at FI. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your panelists to the stage. Penneth. How does the end sound? Does it, did it work? And gentlemen, please welcome your panelists to the stage. Yeah, I don't know. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry ex Why? Why is there, no, why? Ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen? What the hell's a ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> we now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and television, interactive digital media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC, here to this day, here to this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, we now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and television. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry experts, including film and. We now bring you a panel of ranging industry. A bit, bit. We now bring you a panel of raging industry experts. We now bring you a panel of ranging of industry experts ranging from. We now bring you a panel of extra. We now bring you a panel of industry experts ranging from film and. We now bring you a panel of range. See again, I'm changing the bloody words, and I need to because it doesn't make sense in my opinion. We now bring you a panel of industry experts ranging from film and television, interactive digital media, and publishing. Presented by OMDC, they are here to discuss the current trends in media convergence and where it's headed. Carrie Morrison, CEO of Enloop Mobile, Anna Sereno, Chief Digital Officer of CFC Media Lab, and Ricardo Giraldi, Creative Director at BeReal in New York. Moderating this discussion is Irene Pereira, the Head of User Experience and Strategy at FI. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your panelists to the stage. Okay. Did I say gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your panelists to the stage. Kind of good. I'm going to stick with it for now. What time is it? One. I've got three hours to get there. Okay. Shift P, control, oops. Escape, escape, control A, control shift P. We now bring you a panel of industry experts. Cool. Save, sav, sav. I think I'm only going to be able to get through one day today, guys. Yeah. Uh, we've got two left. And then i got to call it a day for the voiceovers because I've still got to do a bunch of things before my presentation at University of Toronto. <sighs> Including getting ready. Um, so, Control-Shift-N. Uh, 13-01v1. This one is going to be Jonathan Snook. Hmm. Our next presenter is a well-known blogger of snook.ca. He is also the author of Scalable and Modular Architect for CSS and a co-author of Accelerated DOM Scripting. He's the designer and developer based out of Ottawa and the lead developer at Spotify. Please welcome Jonathan Spook. Really? Last flipping word! And it was his name! Why? Ah! Spook! <sighs> Our next presenter is a well-known blogger at snook.ca. He is also the author of Scalable and Modular Architect for CSS and co-author of Accelerated DOM Scripting. 
He's a designer and developer based out of Ottawa and the lead designer at Shopify. Please welcome Jonathan Snook. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan Snook. Our next presenter is a well-known blogger of snook.ca. He also is... Hmm. Our next presenter is a well-known blogger of snook.ca. He is also the author of Scalable and Modular Architecture for CSS and a co-author for Accelerated DOM Scripting. He is the... Really? Really? I'm doing so well on this one. Our next presenter is a well-known blogger of snook.ca. He is also the... Arch our next presenter is a well-known blogger of snook.ca. He is also the author of Scalable and Modular Architecture for CSS and a co-author of Accelerated DOM Scripting. He's a designer and developer based out of Ottawa and is the lead designer at Shopify. Please welcome Jonathan Snook. Yes! Yes! I have the power! Kind of. Our next presenter is a well-known blog. Okay, last one of the day, which is trying to understand the nature of reality. Before we begin our last session at FITC, we would like to thank each and every one of you for being here this year. We hope you enjoyed your three days with us, and we hope to see you again soon. Please join us for drinks at Grace O'Malley's at 7.30 p.m., hosted by your good friends at MailChimp. Oh, I'm doing one like that. Uh, one four dash zero zero dash v one. Uh, thank you. Fun. Before we begin our last session of FITC, oh damn. Before we begin the last session in FITC, hmm. Before we begin the last session, FITC would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us this year. We hope you've enjoyed your three days with us and hope to see you again soon. Please join us for drinks at Grace O'Malley's at 7.30 p.m., hosted by your good friends, MailChimp. Outstanding. Ah, oh, I gotta hear that one. Before we begin the last session, FITC would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us this year. We hope you've enjoyed your three days with us and hope to see you again soon. Please join us for drinks at Grace O'Malley's at 7.30 p.m., hosted by your good friends, MailChimp. <laughs> Delete that. I am going to save that one just for the fun one. <laughs> okay, uh, one four dash uh, zero zero v one. Thank you. Before we begin the last session, FITC would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us this year. We hope you enjoyed their three days with us and hope to see you again soon. Please enjoy it. Hmm. Before we begin the last session, FITC would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us this year. Nope. Before we begin the last session, FITC would like to thank each and every one of you for being here with us this year. We hope you've enjoyed your three days with us and hope to see you again soon. Please join us for drinks at Grace O'Malley's at 7.30 p.m., hosted by your good friends at MailChimp. Awesome. And shift P, control A, control shift P. Uh, before we begin the last session, FITC would like... Okay. Uh, I'm just going to delete that. Oh, no, not delete. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Save. Thank you. Control Shift N one four dash zero. 
one v one memo actin 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 somebody want to correct me on this one actin anyway uh, our last presenter of FITC Toronto 13 is a man of too many talents. He is a musician, engineer, and artist covering anywhere from performances to mobile applications, directing to hacking. He's done them all. Coming from London, UK, please welcome Memo Acton. Did I just get that first try? <gasps> I just got that first try. Let's take a look. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P. Our last presenter of FITC Toronto 13 is a man of too many talents. He is a musician, engineer, and artist covering anywhere from performances to mobile applications, directing to hacking. He's done them all. Coming from London, UK, please welcome Memo Acton. Awesome. Uh, Sav. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for at least Toronto Room 2. Uh, there is still Toronto Room 3 to go. And tomorrow, I will likely be tackling... Hmm, it will likely be actually on Friday that I'll need to do this one here. Um, yeah, either Friday or this weekend. FITC Toronto is coming up, but it's not until I think later on. almost uh, The 21st, if I'm not mistaken. So... I've still got tons and tons of time. Uh, these still need to go through all approvals, but we've done um, the... Which rooms have we done? We have done Carmichael Jackson, um, all three days, Toronto 1, all three days, and now Toronto 2, all three days. Uh, and then all we need to do now is do the Toronto 3 for all three days, and then get all the approvals and corrections and changes and whatnot, and hopefully punctuation following. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot if you are tuning in or if you uh, are watching this afterwards on YouTube, give me a comment. What do you think? Um, it's just for fun that I'm doing the recording and broadcasting of this. Uh, hopefully that uh, this has some form of interest, even if it's seeing me in my light pink shirt. But yeah, if you have any questions about the setup or if you have any questions about what this all is, shoot me off uh, a message and uh, I'll do my best to respond. Thanks, guys.